Greetings, fellow nerds. Welcome to another empty junior info video. Uh, you know what we're doing? We are playing some wacky stuff in Calum Standard, and today we are going full Monty on the whack troll deck. Um, our objective is to get one win today. It's it's really strange, but if we win, it's gonna be hilarious. So if you're ready to see more stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, so then you have an easier time finding me in the future. And so that you can also be a part of fan submission Fridays. I'm revisiting one. I'm going to revisit reanimator aggro. And of course, if you want to be a part of next week's fan submission, just uh, be a subscriber so I can see you. And um, just drop an Aetherhub uh, link on a deck you'd like me to try out. So yeah. So we are going God Tribal today. That's right. We are just, we are, we are unleashing all the pantheons that standard has to offer. So um, to do this troll deck, we have to play a very kind of specific way, but we get to kind of mix and match how we get to do that. So let me show you what we are working with. Got Glass Casket, buy yourself some time. Got one Valky, who can also be a Tybalt, three Banishing Lights for more removal, one Heliod, one Redane, um, one Cos Cosima, one Aegon, one uh, Burgi, Burgi. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her, um, who's actually pretty good. So all the uh, Kalheim gods, we don't have to worry about triggering the um, Devotion, which is nice. They are susceptible to removal, but uh, Burgi in particular is pretty good because the Horn can kind of fish out what we need, which is a lot of lands in this case. And we got Cultivate. Um, we got Eska, which is actually pretty good in a five color god deck. Um, either side is pretty good, actually. We got Jorn. We're not playing Snowland, so Jorn is here to be Jorn. <laughs> we got Halvar, uh, who's actually you know, good on the aggressive side. Two Shadow of the Skies for a board wipe. One Thassa because Thassa, not really playing her for any other reason. Uh, Erebos, three Extinction Events for more removal. Um, one Torolf, um, aka Thor. He's actually pretty good um, just as a creature. One uh Col Colvori, which we don't get to get her ability, but it, it's it might happen, you know, getting three legendaries, making her six six with vigilance, not bad. Um, one Nylia, which actually makes our gods cheaper if we want to get them out. One Alrund, which is actually good because usually we're just kind of looking for we can name land or sorcery to kind of uh, get what we need. One um, Terragrid, which is actually a win condition because the lantern is just that busted. One Perforos to give our gods haste. One, uh, four Beanstalk Giants for more lands. Two Plains, one Island, one Swamp, two Mountains, two Forest. One uh, Hen Hengagate. I don't know. Hengegate. <laughs> I can read. I can read. Uh, pathway, four Bright Climb. Uh, one River Guide. Three Darkborns. Three Branch Loft. And, of course, the World Tree, which we are trying to trigger... We're going to try and get 11 lands out and then just summon all the gods. Um, this is not a deck meant for climbing up the ladder. This is a deck strictly for fun. Uh, but I wanted to show you what it would look like on the standard ladder. Again, our goal is to get one win. We're, we're just trying to be trolly here. Um, this is more on the fun side of the video. So... Um, well, this is a this is a great start. Actually, we don't have the white mana for the glass casket, but we have the world tree. We have cultivate. We have beanstalk giant. So uh, you know, uh, any any anytime we can get a little bit closer to our objective, I'll take it. Oh, and there's our white land. See, see, we're doing great, guys. <laughs> we're doing great. We'll be okay. Um, so hopefully they'll drop down a creature this i don't know if they're a control deck just the way he played fable passage more patient players are kind of they don't crack the fable passage right away so um usually that lands on the control side but one day I'll, i will try control for you guys i'm just not a control player it's just a little bit outside my comfort zone i i just grew up playing magic with creatures so that's just that's just how it is but you know maybe that's a great time for you to put in this fan submission Ah, okay, okay. Uh, well, might as well get the white, because uh, we do need a double white for the Shard of the Sky if we do uh, end up needing that, so. 
All right. Is this mono white? And they're just super slow. That'd be intriguing. That that's actually huge for us. That's actually that's actually uh that might actually give us the time we need to pull up the world tree. <laughs> oh no, they're okay. They're Orzov something, Orzov control, Esper control, and they're just missing the sources. But they went fetch double white, so that's interesting. I wonder if he's like waiting for us to like make a move and we're just like, oh, we're just trying to buy time, my friend. <laughs> we're in no rush. We are taking it as slow as possible. So you do what you need to do and Okay, it's Orzov Angels. Alright, alright. Um so actually I am gonna cultivate. I don't mind taking two. So I do need um uh, we do have a second Y source. So let's grab a red source. Um, do I need a green source? I feel like we're good on green. Let's just grab a second white just in case. Alright, <laughs> we're full Monty on the troll plan, guys. We are there. We are there. Okay, went to attack. I wonder if he's like holding up removal and it's just like, I'm gonna get him and we're just like, uh, oh, there's a foretell card. Okay. All right, another world tree. That's actually not too bad. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the glass casket here. Why not? Why not? And then we're gonna get another land. <laughs> this, guys, we're getting there. We are actually getting there. This is insane. Um, Sure, we'll do green. Guys, guys, <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> this is the closest I think I've ever been in so long to actually pull this off. Oh, Legion Angel. Oh, no, that's just constant threats in the air. Oh, no, Glass Casket doesn't hit them. This could be bad. Um, well, I might as well play Kobari. See what's going on. Oh no, why did they have to play Legion Angel? Could have played any- Oh, where are Banishing Lights? Oh no. I'll even take removal. I'll remove everything if I have to. Anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need four more turns somehow. Ugh. I need another Cultivate or Beanstalk Giant to really help me out. Alright, I'm taking four. I got nothing. I- I'm- I've played- I have shown you everything, so. I mean, I could play a Beanstalk Giant that could be a threat, so. <laughs> oh, this guy plays Angels like I do. Plays Banishing Light. I'm so proud. There's a Perforos. Um, actually, not bad. Um, I just don't think it's going to be particularly helpful. So, I'm just, you know what? You know, if he he's gonna have to at least consider using another removal, which technically buys us time. So, um, and I do actually have to get the peripherals out to give my creatures haste. So, it's just something to consider. I got nothing. Yeah, I'm sitting on a glass casket. I got nothing. Oh wow, he went for the doom scar play. Okay. I don't mind that at all. Um, well, we have the uh, lantern, which is actually pretty good. Puts them on a clock. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more lands. Now this is the, this is the time where. So I got one in hand. A cultivate would be great. I guarantee it. <laughs> they probably have a they just probably have a lot of removal and they're just like, what the heck do I do? And maybe I shouldn't have played the Perforos. It might have actually been better to just trigger a bunch of lanterns. But when I trigger the God Tree, whether I have the Perforos or not, um, like, it's still something they have to consider. Alright. Uh, Aegon, God of that doesn't do a whole lot here. Um, might as well play it. He's gonna stick around for a turn, which is fine. 
don't untap. I've made that mistake before. Okay, and then we untap. Let me do it again. If he wants to keep losing life, that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to draw a land and I win. Literally a land and I win. He's he's thinking. Okay. Um sure, I'll get in there for six. He has haste. He's gonna be around next turn. You gonna play another Legion Angel? I think I actually win. It's in there for four. All right. Got another Doom Scar. It's weird that he plays Doom Scar with a creature deck. I wouldn't advise that, but all right, he's he's going for it. Interesting choice. I wouldn't recommend that. And he can't take three life forever. Oh, gaining life, actually important. But glass cast gets hits. All right, so we didn't draw a land, so it's kind of a shame, but that's all right. Extinction event is a good draw, buys us the time. Don't untap, don't untap. <laughs> We're still gonna win with the troll deck. That's what's important, guys. That's what's really important. The win ratio is not good on this deck. Just I, this is just for fun, guys. I, this is just this is for pure entertainment value. Um. Like, if you're going to do this, like, just make sure you're not, like, super close to being promoted or something. Like, I, I'm all the way back to Tier 4 Diamond just because I wanted to find a deck that, a, a version of this where it at least worked. So, it, interesting you discarded Legion Angel. That provides constant threats, so. I mean, I would have preferred to draw a land, personally, but... What do you get rid of? Oh, Rise of the Valkyries? Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's also good about, like, playing this with the Lantern is that we just have we usually have a lot of mana out to just abuse the Lantern, so. It's time where you take three. I'm at seven. I mean, um, he took three, so we found something in his hand that was worth keeping. Yeah, another Valkyrie. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what? I want to... Alright. I'm going to... I'm going to let him live. Because I really want to get this off. And then he will have to discard, actually. Uh, please, just let us get it off. Please! Well, I guess either way, we win with the troll deck, so I'll take it. <laughs> but will he let us have the fun? That's the real question. Hey! I actually... I actually... Ooh. Alright, guys, here we go! Here we go! Summon the Pantheon! Here we go! Summon the Pantheon! Go, go, go! Go! Let's go! All 13! <laughs> Everyone charge! <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm glad he let us do it. Because that's going to be great for the video. I honestly want to call it quits here. But I, I, I got to do one more. I'll, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Just just because, you know, why not? Why not? Just I don't want the video to be too short. But uh, again, that stuff like never really happens. Like, like honestly, I, it probably happens like 10 to 20% of the time. So, <laughs> but that was, oh my gosh. I'm so glad he let us do that. Oh gosh, this hand is rough. But we got to keep. We got to keep. We got to keep. And just this, this is how we play. This is how we play. See, 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 we got the, we got the third land. We're good. We're good. Look, we got the gods in our hands. Honestly, we could play them too, which is pretty nice. We could at least play the Torbrel possibly. Um, control deck. Actually is like not that bad against us because like 
we're just playing lands. Like, buying time is actually how we win. So, it's not that we can't win against control, we just, it does require time, but against control, who also needs time, it's actually like, what is he playing? Oh, Omen of the Hunt. I might need to consider that. Oh, that's actually really, really smart. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get red and... I guess I technically need another white source, huh? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I needed the second white source for Shard of the Sky quite yet, so that might have actually been a mistake. <laughs> He's actually not going to get a whole lot from that, so that's actually hilarious. Oh, I need a blue source, too. Um. Well, let's do this, because I can still play. Alright, um. Well, we should at least get a blue source, right? Oh, right, and they can tap for any color now. Derp or derp. Alright. Get my Shadow of the Sky, which doesn't really do a whole lot against you anyway. And now he's like, oh god, he's playing the troll deck. <laughs> yes, yes I am indeed. I am indeed playing the troll deck. I actually want to uh, get the Alrind out, so I might need to bait a couple counter spells here. I'm not really sure how to do that, to be quite honest. Another Omen of the Sea. I need to resolve the Alrind, I'm just not sure how. Because he's the one I want to name with lands to get all the lands in our hands. Oh, okay. This actually works. Um, you can... Eh, Aegon's... Alright, we can let go of Aegon. So that was actually really good for us. Um, because now the Alrind will hopefully allow us to search for lands. Um, I'm going to play it as is. A second... Um, actually, not bad. Actually, not bad at all. Getting lands could actually be huge. Okay, and then I'm going to name land. I just want land. Okay. That's actually okay. That's actually okay because, um, just our goal is to get land. He can't counter that. He can't counter this ability either for the most... As far as I know, he cannot, so... Um, so this is actually huge because, and then crewing with, well, that's a problem. Oh, he's not control. Oh, I thought I had a chance and now I don't all of a sudden. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. What do I have to name here? One, two, three, four, five. Six. I don't want to name. Oh no. Oh, and he gets indestructible anyway. Oh no. Oh well, but if I name Odd, I just lose so much. I guess I kind of have to do it though, huh? Oh, that sucks. Well, it has to be done. He's tapped out. He might be a little confused, so he might just let it happen, or he might make some trades here. If he, like, blocks with the even ones, too, at least it helps us out, right? Okay, he's gonna let the four happen. Okay, that was actually huge for us. And we do have to name Odd, which which sucks. It sucks. It sucks. We lose our end, but it has to be done. We just... We don't win. We don't win with, uh... Coma out. Just There's just no way. Um, okay, that's fine. I don't... Oh, actually, I do. Oh. Oh, no. That actually sucks. Okay, I might have to try Omen of the Hell on this deck. It's actually really smart. But I, I don't play that many basics, so... And I have the Cultivate for that. Cultivate's a little bit better. Man, he's ramping faster than me. That's really frustrating. Okay, there's Halvar. Um, I'm actually going to get the Tauroth out. And I can actually crew here, which is nice. A little overkill on the crewing, but that's okay. 
I will play your pathway very happily. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Would you like to see another god, sir? <laughs> Did you see what I am doing? Alright. He's gonna probably play the Yorian, right? Kinda sucks, because now we can't crew the, um... Oh, wow, I see what's happening. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things happening here. Okay, there's a lot of things happening here. That's actually really cool. Okay, alright. Mad respect. Uh, Arabos can go. Can actually play the hall bar. He's still tapped out, though, which is huge. All right. Well, we might win. Uh, this is going to be an interesting video, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Holy moly, that's actually huge. Playing Valkyas to Volt. Actually huge. I'm going to do it. So what's huge here is that even if I he takes one, he's still in this. So I'm actually just going to go for it. I, I want to go for the lands. I probably should be attacking with Torvald, but come on. We're, we're trolling today. We're, we're trolling today. We're trolling today. We're going for the troll win, guys. Oh, okay. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Oh, we're having fun. We're having fun. It's all right. Okay. Um. I guess I really. I mean, I don't win against Hexproof. I have to face the Foreign Clux. It sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, he could play it as Tibble? I didn't realize that. That's actually huge. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Um, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Oh, big mistakes were made. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm... Well, this sucks. Playing the hammer as is. Interesting. I wonder if it goes back to me if you equip, though. Alright, Tybalt's gone. Oh no, my friend. I'm sorry. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three and eight. But, uh, I get one, two. I think it still works, actually. Well, if I did my math wrong, whatever. I don't think I did. I did not. Whew. Okay. Uh, submit zero. Gonna crew. I'm just getting in there. <laughs> I think this game is lost, but <laughs> it was fun. I was being a little bit more trolly than I should have, so that was honestly my mistake, but I'm enjoying my time. And honestly, we got the amazing win of the first game. That's all that matters. Uh, that was my goal. Oh, wow. He's actually exiling the artifact. That's a little surprising, not going to lie. How many lands do I even have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm nowhere near... <laughs> Triggering. Okay. Oh, right, because it doubles with uh horn clicks. That's kind of crazy. All right, I I I let someone have my fun. Someone let me have my fun, so I'll let him have his fun. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Lots of things happening. 
All right, too many things are happening. I just <laughs> that was fun. It was too it was two fun decks back to back. It was two fun decks back to back. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that troll video. Um, that was I mean, hey, I'll I had fun. I had fun. That's that's all. That's you know, that's what I came here to do. So. If you guys enjoy that you're ready to see more wacky stuff or see some more cool decks again be sure to hit that subscribe button thumbs up notification bell whatever helps you find me a little bit easier in the future and of course so that you can participate in fan friday submissions where um, i try out uh, subscribers decks which is really fun um so right now up top youtube is showing a video of my most recent upload and then right below that is a video that youtube thinks you specifically will like so go ahead check those out spoiler channel um and shout out to uh my friend m barnacles for doing a new channel art um i'll be exploring more things to talk about in the future as i become a little bit more free so yeah thank you all so much for watching i will see you for your next nerd fill